here's our fifth example with capacitors. We are given a circuit that has an EMF and three equal resistors and a capacitor. And in that circuit we want to know what's the initial current through the circuit and after a long long time what is the current through the circuit and what is the maximum potential difference across the capacitor. Always draw the diagram first. Initially, when the capacitor is uncharged, well, there's no voltage across it. So we can redraw the circuit ignoring the capacitor, like so. It's easy to calculate the total resistance of our new circuit. The resistor R is in series with a parallel arrangement of two resistors. So R plus the inverse of 1 over R plus 1 over R which is equivalent to R plus R over 2, which is 3 halves of R. The total potential difference is equal to the total resistance multiplied by the total current, which means that the current is equal to the EMF divided by the total resistance, and that makes the current 2 thirds of E over R. Now let's look at the situation after a long, long time. Well, once the capacitor is fully charged, there's no more current that goes through its branch. So we can redraw the circuit ignoring the branch of the capacitor, like so. The total current is equal to the EMF divided by the total resistance of the circuit, which is just 2R now. Let's look at the maximum potential difference across the capacitor. We know that after a long time, the current in the branch of the capacitor will be zero. If the current is zero, that makes the potential difference across resistor 2 zero as well, because we could calculate it using Ohm's law, R times I, with an I of zero, we get zero, of course. That makes the potential difference across the capacitor equal to the potential difference across R3. Using Ohm's law for the potential difference across R3, the resistance multiplied by the final current is R, multiplied by E over 2R, which makes the potential difference across resistor 3 and the potential difference across the capacitor to be E over 2 at T is equal to infinity. Here is the full page solution. Spread the joy of physics!